That's right. You see it. Tower and top is. Had to work a, about half a day. Got home, I don't know, around 1, 2 o'clock from taking those loads into uh, site. Supposed to unload first thing in the morning. I came home and uh, took the top part of the tower down, lower part of the tower down. Uh, changes the whole look of the boat. Kind of makes it look sporty now. I <laughs> uh, say that. I don't know. I would say. Kind of makes her look like she's got a fat ass. Oh well. Uh, I'll show y'all all this. Yeah, just the lower portion of the tower. And yes, it was kind of a bitch. I uh, broke a weld coming down. I gotta get that fixed, but it's all going to the welder anyway. And that's the pile of junk I've pulled out. It's risers, mufflers, outriggers, upper station, the sink, captain's corner with the tackle box in it. Uh, yeah. We're starting to get somewhere now. But, uh, yeah, now, uh, She's pretty much ready to come out. I'm just gonna have to build the gantry when I uh, get home for vacation. It's supposed to get unloaded tomorrow and uh, haul ass back to Houston to do this all over again. Not looking forward to. But uh, yeah, we're ready to pull motors. I took the propellers off yesterday. See if anybody under, understands what these serial numbers are, or maybe you can tell me what kind of propellers they are. Uh, they won't be going back on the boat because the Cummins's will uh, be much, much bigger. And there's plenty of room under the boat for diameter and whatever I need. Uh, probably could go two or three more inches in diameter uh, and be comfortable. But here, here's the serial numbers. Yeah, I don't know if you can read that or not, but <laughs> trying to figure out who made them, and get them cleaned up. So as I'm taking everything apart, all the bolts and screws I've been tossing into buckets, uh, cause that kind of stuff adds up in a hurry when you're going back together. So if I can reuse some of the good stainless steel hardware i'm not reusing anything that's got rust on it or it's got any kind of stripping damage or none of, nothing like that definitely not going to reuse that crap um but yeah good weekend for barely being home and working uh yeah She's uh, looking pretty good. And I gotta finish remodeling that. When I'm on vacation, it just needs some paint and underpinning. It's been sitting there vacant since I put the new house up front, which has been a while. I'm not even gonna tell y'all. Uh, but yeah, you can see. A pair of shafts are out, our props are off. Yeah. yeah well that tower there it really opens her up she kind of looking naked now but like i say she'll be able to build the gantry get these motors hooked up get them yanked right out i done got everything out of my way all i got to do is pull the motor mounts and uh hook some chains up and should be voila then i gotta figure out what I got there motors and clutches and uh figure out what i'm gonna do with that crap uh probably just cover one with tarp and put them in a corner somewhere and uh rebuild them when i get bored and need a new project and uh hell maybe i'll find something to put them in doubtful i don't really like gas burners but 
Alrighty, well, I just figured I'd give y'all an update on this wonderful Sunday. Uh, that's pretty much it for me today. I uh, wasn't planning to do much and did more than uh, I thought I was going to. But the tower came right down. So, yep, I'm happy. One step closer, each step we take. I'll be happy once we get the motors out, get the deck off, and uh, get the fuel tanks out. That way I can get in there with a pressure washer, get all the inside cleaned, and uh, see where we're at. Another thing, I don't know. Put in the comments below what your thoughts all are on that swim platform. That swim platform has a dozen, eh, probably two dozen bolts going through the transom of that boat. Uh, and I'll be honest, I just soon do away with it. Uh, the stern's so high, uh, that swim platform's so low, it's not really uh, that usable, I, I wouldn't think. I mean, uh, you'd probably just stick a ladder off the side of the boat and use that. I don't know. I'll let y'all look at it. Tell me what you think if you want. Uh, please, well, like the videos. Let me know y'all watching them. Uh, give me suggestions, comments, whatever uh, y'all's thoughts are on this rebuild. Uh, I am open to ideas and uh, welcome them, actually. But, yeah, see what y'all think. So that swim platform and the stern so high it's not really the best usable and if i were to keep it i'd probably want to replace it because it's beat all to hell but like i say there's a bolt there bolt there two bolts there two bolts bolt i mean there's a ton of bolts that go through the stern of the boat that i would just assume uh, eliminate uh i don't know We'll see what y'all think. Uh, let me know. All right. Probably be a couple of weeks before I post again. Uh, once I get back and get on vacation. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.